<laughs> Love it. Yes, that's good. Hey, that was a hell of a drive. Well, I don't have to sell it, so it's good. <laughs> good day everyone, it's Graham from Great Off-Road Adventures. Welcome back to our next trip video. Uh, we're on the road at the moment, as you can tell. The, uh, the sun's gone down, it's gotten dark, but we're getting close to camp now. We left Perth about two and a half hours ago, and we've come down to Collie. We're just making our way out to Wellington Dam. So, uh, it's gonna be a fun weekend. We're, uh, it's Friday Arvo, so we've got Friday night, Saturday night down here. We're gonna uh, do a bit of four-wheel driving tomorrow on some of the probably uh, moderate to hard tracks. And uh, this weekend, we're joined by Brett and Jody from Australian Off-Road Adventures. Uh, they've got a really, really nice uh, new 200 series camper trailer. And uh, hopefully we're gonna have the opportunity to uh, have a look through that uh, at some stage. Anyway, uh, we're not far off the camp now, so uh, probably see you when we get there. I sure was glad to get back on the gravel and uh, know that we're making our way towards our campsite. Unfortunately, just around the band here, we came across a bit of a setback. Um, we packed chainsaws, but they weren't big enough to clear that. Well, we took the tree across the track as a sign to head to one of my other favorite campsites on the edge of the dam. Do have to be careful going there though in winter, as with a southwesterly breeze, it blows straight across the dam and straight into camp. We've arrived at our campsite now. Out there in the darkness, you can't see it tonight, that's uh, Wellington Dam. So we camped right on the banks of it. We're uh, out here on the eastern edge where we've got the native forest. Um, grabbed a bit of firewood, it's time to get a campfire going. Uh, Jess and I are planning to cook this whole weekend on campfire again. It's winter. And we can only do that for us uh, well, six months of the year, have campfires and cook on them. So make the most of the opportunities we get. So yeah, we've we've cut up big blocks of jarra into nice small bits. Um, so this way this will burn down into coals sooner for us and um, it'll allow us to start cooking dinner, dinner a bit sooner. Okay, let's get it started. How's the crackle of a campfire? It just doesn't get much better in my opinion. Love that sound. Huh? Well, the fire's been going for about 20 minutes now. We've got a nice bed of coals. Time for us to start cooking dinner. So um, we've got good old potato gems again. Do them in the camp oven, about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we've got uh, Borowos sausage from South Africa. Um, I got it from the Jerky Co. I found that to be pretty pretty good in Perth. <clears throat> it take me back to my African days. And uh, yeah, we'll just do that. And we got some coleslaw as well in the fridge. So that's what dinner is for us. Um, we'll get ours on the go. And we'll go. How many do we want? A lot. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ich mach so aus. Good morning everyone, welcome to, I guess it's the first day of our trip. We only drove down yesterday afternoon and evening. Um, camp set up the back there. And obviously back there, that's Wellington Dam. So I uh, had a really, really peaceful night's sleep. It was, it was absolutely awesome. Had a good little campfire going. And um, yeah, now we're just going to head up, go and see what everyone else is up to. And we'll introduce you to uh, Brett and Jody, And then, um, yeah, we'll have a look quickly at uh, the way camp set up. And then hopefully go out and hit the tracks and trails. So got a few good little tracks that I know of. And um, fingers crossed, we, we can have a bit of fun on them today. G'day, guys. Hi. Uh, so these are Brett, Brett and Jody. So uh, they're joining us for this trip, as I may have mentioned before. And obviously behind them, uh, you can see their pretty tricked up setup. So uh, let's go and have a quick look at that. Do you want to come and tell us about it, Brett? Yeah. So yeah, we're running the MDC camp trial now. Um, Bit of an easier setup for us. We've been running swags and stuff like that before, so forward fold cam trailer takes you know a couple of minutes to set up, which is pretty handy. Yeah, it looks pretty smick and nice and comfortable, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, it had the uh, 12 volt electric blanket on it last night, mate. It was beautiful. Yeah, so, a bit big blanket, but it's nice. Just to clarify, uh, we're down here in the southwest in the, well, the start of winter, and the, the forecast has been like two degrees, three degrees for nighttime temperatures. So <coughs> yeah, it's, it's been cold and it's gonna be pretty cold, I think. Mm, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right, let's look at the car, mate. Oh, don't look too hard at it. <laughs> crack everywhere. So right. yeah. It's uh, obviously very similar to mine, but a bit newer. So run us through, give us a quick one. Oh yeah, so. You know, 2018 200 Series VX. Yep. Um, yeah, spent bloody fortune on it, but it, um, yeah, it definitely performs how I expected it to. Cool. You know, I've had to do a few little bits and pieces for my own added touch. You know, with the <coughs> reservoir shocks and beadlock rims. Yep. So, yeah, it's, no, it's uh, definitely a very, um, very capable car. Right? Cool. Yeah, it looks pretty. Looks pretty tricked up, mate. It looks real neat. Yeah. Um, and yeah, if you want to get more information about it, um, obviously Australian Off-Road Adventures, the big logo on the door, uh, that's Brett's channel. Um, so go and check that out. And he's got uh, a lot on Instagram, a lot more than I do. Um, but yeah, so you can go and obviously see his build uh, up to date. And then obviously as it progresses from here. So yeah, yeah cool. Well, thanks for joining us on the weekend, mate. Nah, looking should forward be, to, should be a good uh, fun. to the trip, mate. Cool. Good. All right, well, I think uh, we finish off brekkie and, and uh, we can go and hit the tracks. Yes, get into it. Sweet. Still at camp. Figured uh, it's good a point as any just to drop some tire pressures and uh, get ready to go and hit the tracks. So I'm um, gonna go to I think 22 front, 24, 25 back. Hopefully a bit more tire pressure there. Uh, we'll um, just hold the beads on um, if we do hit some ruts and whatnot. Um, it'll just cushion the ride, give us a little bit more traction, but we don't need to go super soft because we're not playing in the sand. So yeah, let's get stuck into it.
it didn't take us long before we'd found our very first hill of the day. This one was sort of moderate challenge. And there was another group of four-wheel drivers here. They were struggling to get that old uh, cruiser ute up the hill. They were kind enough to uh, let us have a crack and watch on. I sure was glad to get to the top of that hill. It was a fun little drive and it was a good little warm up for what the rest of the day had in store for us. Well, after completing the track along the edge of the dam, we continued our loop around and over to power lines track. Now wherever there's power lines, there's fun. And fun we found. This was a gnarly little washout. We needed to straddle, then cross over, climb up the bank on the other side. It was good fun. Slow and steady was definitely the key through there. As you could see, I had Brett from the front spotting me to ensure that I didn't fall too far into the washout. Uh, careful wheel placement and then uh, careful throttle control was all good. Well, Brett's running a big lift and big tyres with his cruiser. Looks like an absolute beast and uh, he's certainly not scared to point it at uh, a few challenges whilst out there on the tracks and trails.
Well, this section of power lines track is less than four and a half kilometers long. There are so many fun little bits. It is really cool to check out. Oh wow, what a view. Simply magic. The cameras really don't do it justice. These hills were super steep and a heap of fun to drive. Well, slow and steady, first gear low range, and a careful line choice is absolutely imperative when you're going down steep terrain like we are here. It's definitely the case of slow and steady wins the race. I gotta say, this area down here is an absolute gem. Every track offers something different. There's a broad range of tracks for people with, uh, you know, stock vehicles to lightly modified to heavily modified to hardcore tracks to easy tracks. Around every bend, there's something different. It was a really, really fun day and a great place to go exploring. Definitely gonna put this on the bucket list to come back to. Seat belt on. We found the first bit of ruts. They look pretty uh, wet and slippery. So uh, we'll see how we go. Good luck, mate. Have some fun. Thanks, mate. I will. See how we go. Like there's plenty of grip there. We're slippery at the top. Woo! Brett will have some fun, I think. Good fun, good fun.
yeah, we just come off the power lines track and now we're onto this fence lines track. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. So the fence lines track links the bottom end of the power lines track and the top end of the Leonard track. Uh, it used to be quite a lot of fun with a few challenges, but uh, I've been told that uh, it's been bulldozed a bit and made easier. Well, we're uh, part way along the fence lines track and um, decided that this would be where we stop for lunch. I'm sure you can uh, easily see why. How's that view out over the, over the vineyard? Gorgeous colouring. It's um, late autumn, early winter. So uh, grapes are getting ready to drop their leaves. You might be able to see out over there. You can see down the hill all the way to the ocean. It'll be hard to see with this camera, but uh, yeah, stunning view. So yeah, I think it's one o'clock or 1.30. Good time to have lunch as well. <laughs> Shit. Oh, feeling a bit tired, are you? No, 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 just uh, yeah, want to make sure to stay alert. Like, oh, quick, okay. quick energy kick. Quick, quick energy kick, yeah. mate. Quick pick me up. Yeah, energize the battery up there. Yeah, well, we were up until like uh, 12.30 or one o'clock last night, just enjoying the fire and chewing the cuds so yeah, i don't i don't blame him for having one i would if i had one but it's all good Hi -hi. yep taking the uh taking the beautiful night in that we had last night oh it was stunning yeah Still. it was wicked yeah hopefully tonight will be the same our fingers crossed yeah cool all right well let's see what uh what we have for lunch and see what uh, brett and joe's have for lunch well, this looks nice and healthy and yummy yeah I'm, um, you know, forgot a knife, so I've uh, smushed my tomatoes and just got seeds everywhere. It's but gourmet. you know what? It's made it more gourmet. It's definitely gourmet. Um, a little bit of salami, a little bit of ham. You guys would be like us. You eat better out on a camping trip than you can do at home. Oh uh, yeah, usually, especially when uh, when Brett's home. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it's cool. really tasty. Wraps, cold meat. Wrap it. Nice and easy. It. You know, it's um, yeah, it's definitely better than uh, cooking something up and then having to let the weather cool down, so. Yeah, getting stuff dirty. Yeah. Yeah, all I have to do is whack off this little table now. Means more time on the tracks. Yep, I like it. Lunch for Jess and I was the same as Brett and Jody. Cold meat, salad wraps. Super simple, nice and easy to take away and have on the tracks and trails. Well, what a simply stunning view. I feel this is a pretty good time to end off part one. So if you wanna see what the rest of the fence lines tracks like, the pipeline track, and the secret track that we found tomorrow, come back next week for part two. Yes, that's right, you heard me correctly. We're releasing this series weekly. Make sure you go down there, smash that big red subscribe button, enable notifications, Make sure you go and like this video by hitting that thumbs up button and drop us a comment and let us know what you thought. Check out Brett and Jody's channel, check out their build series and their upcoming trip videos. And as usual guys, happy safe adventuring, stay safe on the tracks and trails. I look forward to seeing you in our next video.